All right. Hello again, adventurers, and welcome to another exciting episode of Traversing the Veil. Yes, this is one of my custom D and D five E campaign set in my weird, messed up world campaign setting that I made, and the people below me. Uh, are the p -p people that are getting ready uh, to uh, assassinate some dudes. So, mm -hmm. yeah, first time for everything, folks. Um, quick, uh, a very, very quick, a quick announcement. This Saturday, uh, Realms of the Wild is back. We uh, we had to take a, a an additional week off uh, to get everything ready, but the reason I'm mentioning it is Realms of the Wild will have some brand new stuff going on. So, Ooh. definitely, uh, it is... 9 a.m. Pacific time um, on Twitch.tv slash Delding Universe TV. Check it out because it's going to be super, super cool. I'm excited about it. Uh, Elias uh, and I have been working on this for like a couple months now. Uh, and so it, it should be pretty pretty amazing and cool and f -f -f fun. So, yeah. Otherwise, uh, I think it's time to return to Traversing the Veil. Time to kill some dudes. Yep. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, to give a slightly better uh, 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 rendition. Uh, the party finds themselves in Evia. Uh, and their first did a day there, they got into some trouble with a local gang working on the first tier. After dealing with that due to trouble, they eventually were contacted by a member of uh, Anonymity, which is the Assassin's Guild that partially runs Evia. And they were informed that the small gang that they seem to have upset has been doing things that they're not supposed to, and Anonymity has decided to punish them for it. And has decided that the party would be the perfect group to do that. So the party is preparing to assassinate the would-be assassins of this unnamed Tier 1 Giga Gang. And that is where we return. So, um, quick refresher, roughly since you guys were Giga Contact and everything, um, you guys have spent the rest of that day um, doing the stuff that we talked about yesterday. So today's session will open with day one, 48 hours remaining. So, <laughs> okay. Um, Krexny, we've I already, think I got that reference. Mm -hmm. um, Krexny, we have already done your roles for your uh, grappling hook mechanism. So your first 24 hours are already spoken for. Um, Imp, uh, I will say your fact, or I'm sorry, Smegwick, uh, I will say your uh, fact finding mission where you went around looking for prices and things like that, that would have taken the better part of about three to four hours. So you still have the majority of a day left. Um, Owie, uh, I'll say probably at least uh, eight hours of, okay. uh, and you're you're generally going to get about twelve to sixteen hours of workable hours in a day. Um, yeah. So I'll say for your target practice, bare minimum, you're going to spend eight hours. You can spend the entire like twelve to fourteen hours doing your spell sniping, and that would be your your first day. Or you can do something else in the remaining roughly about four hours you would have left of good usable time, four to six hours you'd have left. Um, and then Reggie, we have we have not discussed uh, at all what you would like to do, 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 do as far as your two 24 hour periods. So right. um, let's start, since Reggie hasn't said anything yet about, about this, let's start with Reggie. Um, first, are there <laughs> any other questions that you have um, um, I that you need oh, to know before sorry. making your decision? That's fine. 
Uh, at this point, no, but I'm sure questions will come up once we all kind of reconvene, uh, most likely at the end of the day, to just kind of go over, I I'm guessing. Um, I I'm sorry, I was... Josh, you look like you are about to no, say something. I was just, I was just going to suggest I want you to go through what you were going to do first. Um, honestly, uh, and this is kind of my fault because I wasn't in last session due to technical difficulties. Reggie's not going to do much for this first day at the very least. Uh, mostly he's just going to stick close to the neighborhood, but just kind of run general recon of the area just to get a lay of the land of where everything is, not just where their targets are, okay. but just like all of the other buildings around just in case like just in case like this area isn't good enough. What if we have to like find a different vantage point or something? So yeah. I'm just, lo I'm looking up for backup plans. That's, that's going to be Re Reggie's main idea. Definitely. Um, go ahead and roll me. Um... Never mind. Go ahead and r r r roll me. Um, I'll let you choose uh, perception or investigation, whichever you would like. And because um... you're going to be spending effectively a day doing it, Whichever one you want will have an advantage. Okay, I'm going to go with Perception because I have a plus three in that while Investigation is a plus one. So first roll is an eight. Second roll is a 12. Okay. So your first day as everyone else is uh, kind of doing their th th thing. The first thing that you do is you go to basically the tier one level of... Uh, where the Penta's apartment is going to be, and you start a little looking around. Um, because of the contact that you guys uh, uh, made, uh, that was one other thing that uh, I forgot to m m mention to you. Uh, you, uh, you guys met a lovely couple that invited you to dinner. Um, oh. oh, yeah, that's right. A uh, very that you all, couple. Yeah, which you all decided... Uh, <laughs> All decided together uh, not to take up the request. Yeah, um, I, I don't understand felt... why because she was lovely, a good Southern Belle. Um, who didn't was stop uh, talking. who made Owie very uncomfortable? But uh, she did I... give you a card that can get you up to tier three hmm. um, without too much d -d 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 difficulty for the next few days because you have hmm. a, basically an appointment card with her okay. um so as you kind of go there and, and you go to the other uh tiers because going down a tier is super easy nobody bats an eye it's just going up tiers where people cause issues you're able to map out a pretty decent cross section of that part of the, the the city you do have a couple close calls where you have to dart down an alley or something because you recognize uh someone walking around uh, as uh, part of uh, the gang that you will be dealing with s s soon. Um, but overall, yeah, you, you basically have a pretty good map in your head of the first three tiers. And looking up, you're able to kind of conjecture different ways um, that you could escape uh, if the situation does uh, become bad, right. including different places where you might be able to jump down a tier safe enough if that makes sense so all righty uh so that being done uh let's go to uh smegwick since you have the most time of anyone uh, else left this today um again you went around you found the rough proper prices on uh uh the various uh, uh items that you thought might be useful now that you have the, the, that information what would you like to do, 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 do? Okay, so I just want to make sure on that. No, I haven't. I've just gotten the prices. I haven't gotten the items as such yet. Yes, you have. You have simply gone around and, and gotten your your shopping list if, if effectively. You haven't. You haven't gone in and bought anything. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, well, I ha I've had some very interesting conversations with some very interesting people, <laughs> and Smegwick will have utilized a little feature. Uh, he has not. He hasn't been making much use of uh, until very early on in the game. Uh, he would have changed his appearance okay. uh, frequent, frequently, so he would never have looked like the same person quite mm -hmm. as often. He would have looked like a goblin, but his attire would have changed uh, mm -hmm. at various points. 
Okay. Uh, different different types of clothing. One, at several points, he probably would have looked just like a uh, the, the typical sailor, uh, like the, you know the uh, the cap, the pea coat. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe once or twice, he looks like a kind of like a, a street urchin, so to speak. So effectively, each one of these shops you went into as a different type of person. Soul goblin, but different states of dress, mm-hmm. which I'm going to gather not. Goblins aren't unheard of, but still, that wants to be as unrecognizable. Soul doesn't want to be quite as recognizable going around. Goblins are not super uh, uh, common in the uh, sovereignty. Ebia will probably have a few more than other places, simply because there are a lot. Uh, yeah. There's there's a lot of kind of underrepresented people in uh, the city, uh, uh, just in general. Um, but yeah, you're you're still going to stick out a little bit being a goblin uh, uh, in the uh, city. Like you probably were one of maybe one or two customers they would have had all day that were like goblins. Worst case scenario, people are going to notice a different, a slight uptick in goblin. Yeah, the goblin a- a- again, there's goblins here. They're just not super, super c- c- common. Yeah. Go- goblins uh, are native to the prime material plane. So, um, and since the war hundreds of years ago, the prime material plane has been cut off from all the elemental planes and the Feywild. So there just hasn't been a huge influx of goblins. So that being said, uh, what else do you want to do? Again, that took you, you know, between two and four hours. Uh, Smegwick definitely had that, and anyone else noticing, he had a list. He There's a certain item, I think it's also there, he has not acquired that yet, because I know that won't come up until we make a purchase. Um, but there's a few things he spotted. Uh, so, yeah, so I definitely got a list going on here, and this is uh, some very interesting things we found in terms of possibilities. If we uh, want to discuss that real quick, I think we got a general consensus about what we want to do. Okay. Um, so, you, do you not? Is it the day has ended? Are we uh, not quite now, yet. or not this yet? Is, okay. You're you are still. You can communicate with people while you're tinkering. Okay. Um, but your your first day, you are you are entirely mm-hmm. in Building. production mode. Yeah, you're over okay. your work bench. You're, you're over your work bench. Yeah. Okay. You're whatever. R and D. Okay. So you. Uh, Still want to go out and get some of that stuff, um, the grease. Or the uh, see, I'm looking at like a oil of uh, slipperiness. If we want to get one of those, or two of those, uh, possible some scrolls of thunder wave. Maybe a couple of those. Uh, okay. Maybe for emergency purposes, maybe a couple of bottles of uh, of uh, healing potions. Mm. Okay. Just in case of that. Um, had interesting conversations with various people about poisons. I'm not so sure where we're going to stand on <laughs> on that. Oh, okay. um, how interested are we in those and possibly knocking people out? Mm. So if we use any type of... Well, how much was the gas? The, the poison gas? 300, you said. Essence of ether, 300. Mm. Okay. That's that's still even a risk if we can even set things off. Unless you guys have a different idea on how, because if I can get them to each person or make something that explodes, it would probably take another day from me. I'm thinking we concentrate on Bola okay. and the snipers. Okay. Uh, not saying the guards aren't going to be a problem, but if we take him out, I think the guards are going to be more concerned about him possibly freeing us up. And okay. then the snipers. I... Oh, boy. Um, I'm thinking one possible use, if we want to go one or two... Uh, one or two oils of slippery, I could apply it to myself. I go over there with the, with the scrolls of Thunder Wave... While we hit them hard and hit them fast. And then maybe you guys, like you had your grapple Pull idea. Mm-hmm. You had the grapple idea on, on Bola and the Goliaths. Mm-hmm. 
right? Was that your intention? Yeah, because between me and Ogon, we can probably pull him off. I'm thinking maybe someone else goes at the snipers that didn't that don't fall over. <laughs> while someone plays yakety sax and I'm running around. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, potentially Reggie. Well, Reggie has the ability to make somebody invisible. That depends on how long it'll take him to set up. But if we... And we also don't know exactly when the exact hour will be when they're going to show up, mm. do we? Do we know when the exact time is they're gonna, that they're going to hit o'clock? Yeah, you, you, you know the time that the uh, assassination is supposed to, to, to take place. Um, and you know that they will probably be set up within anywhere between half an hour to an hour before the, the, that time. Uh, the assassination's uh, set to go off at 9 p.m. So you are you have been t -t 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 told that uh, they will be uh, they will be there at least 30 minutes before that to set up and get ready for for, for, for everything. So if all were to go well. We could go there at around eight eight fifteen, maybe just be on the lookout. Yeah. For, and mm -hmm. Reggie casts invisibility. If that sounds at all like an option. Now we're spitballing here, so maybe we spend like the next day possibly reconning the setup itself. But uh if that sounds good, like do we think one or two on oil slippery? I think we're also trying to like slip them up. Well, I thought the idea was to put that that grease kind of by the door because if we can get that on fire, they can't get out. That keeps them close to that balcony. I don't think. Well, oil is slipperiness. I don't know. I think it's, it's flammable, right, Jody? Uh, it's this is the same thing as the grease spell, so I'm going to treat it the same way. If you oh okay, if yeah, you put it on the but, ground, you can set it on fire just like the good grease spell. Well, that's. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, if we're just going to sit it on fire, we'd just be better off using oil. Yeah. Again, I also have Grease as a first level spell, so... Yeah. We could also do that as two, as two yeah. prongs. Like, you just make sure you're... If you have the, the range to cast it. I do it 60, 60 feet. Yeah, 60 feet, so I should be able to. That's the door, yeah. So, do we think just one of those is good? So, so between your spell and the oil of slippery, so just one, one oil. Mm, how much are they? Is it worth getting two just in a, case? A hundred and fifty. Mm. No, I I think one. If you're gonna use it, then I can use my grease as a first level spell. Okay. So oil of slip, two scrolls of thunder wave, two potions of healing, and. How we feel? Do we want? Are we? Are we? Let's hold the essence of ether in reserve. Let's okay. let's hold let's hold off on purchasing that. Let's see how we feel after we check things out a little bit more. Okay. So does that sound good? Mm -hmm. Anything else people can think of? Um. So if we do this. The, the plan that we have kind of in place right now with the the grease. Do you want to be in front of that grease or do you want to put the grease when you're gone? I'm thinking ideally we would want the grease where they're yeah, going to be where, where they're going to be teed up mm -hmm. and you behind your, it. Your, your grease spell. But your your grease spell would be at the balcony door. Which would be right. The second here. Which I believe the, is the same thing as the, the door Mm -hmm. Somewhere is over here somewhere. No. Is it not? Where is it? Oh, it's right there. No. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. If we if we put it at the door, are you do you want to be in front of it? Or if you use Thunder Wave? No, if you I guess if you were to use Thunder Wave in front of it, you'd put out the fire probably. My intent with Thunder Wave is because my yeah, the sniper's gonna be over here, right, Jody? Mm -hmm. You technically you have no idea. Okay, but we'll so be possibly. able to see them. Possibly, I'm going to yeah. guess they're going to be somewhere along the edge, wherever uh -huh. it might be. Yeah, you're you're relatively certain they will need to be on the edge somewhere. Yeah, 
So, <laughs> but you, my intent... Yeah. You weren't told the target of the assassination, so you don't even know a direction they're going to be aiming. Yeah. So, my intention is... Technically, I I hit my if I cover my I take the time to apply the oil to myself the oil of slipperiness, and then I use one to two scrolls of thunder wave, depending right. how well it goes. Put them close to that balcony. Get over well, here not, well, and knock those guys off while you target Bowler and uh, and his bodyguards. And well, that's good because that just leaves me and you right now. So we still have two other people to help. <laughs> if we're getting all most of it yeah and my, 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 my belief is if we take Bowler out hard and fast that's going to leave them running around mm -hmm. okay. at least that's my hope or make them angry and then they get a super buff All right, so, so, so uh, you know so what you're I... going to p -p pick up then? Yeah, so one slip, two scroll, uh, potion, and two potions of reg healing. Okay, so uh, I've already so told you how much all this stuff yep. costs. Uh, if you want to try negotiating, we can, we can do that now. Otherwise, just anything on that list that you want. If you pay what I told you, you can just pick it up and, and be done with definitely, it. Definitely, we are on a budget, so if I can, I, want, I definitely want to try to negotiate as best I can. Okay. So, uh, the uh, potions and the oil of slipperiness you will get from the same person. Um, the spell scrolls uh, will be from a, a different person. And was there, uh, is there anything else that you guys are getting? Uh, there will be, a, I think there will be, well, I'll just say, like, naturally, uh, there's going to be a little something extra they'll find that you and I discussed. Uh, yeah, that'll be the Spell Scroll vendor. Yeah. So, uh, who do you want to go, go to for, for first? Uh, definitely get the uh, the oils, uh, okay. the oil slip and the healing potions. So, uh, Tier 1 does not have a great selection of uh, potions in general. Um, you can you can find your your standard healing potions um, at uh, um, uh, you can find it around the arena uh, you can find it a bunch of different places um, but for nicer th things especially the oil of slipperiness you need to go up at least to to, to tier two so when you arrive on to, 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 to tier two you do find this kind of almost like a boutique uh, place that sells uh, potions perfumes and um, uh, various uh, uh, other things, oils, uh, um, uh, essential oils, and the, the things like that. It's it's kind of uh, uh, presented uh, as a kind of wellness uh, uh, c -c 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 clinic. Uh, the the name itself is uh, called the Heal All. Uh, and as you uh, go in, uh, you see um, this very very tall very lanky uh, f -f figure um, standing literally in the center of uh, the, 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 the store. It seems that the entire store has kind of been set out radially. Uh, radially. Um, and you can see, you know, various magic crystals, um, which your particular uh, training uh, recognizes that none of these magic crystals would even work as a spellcasting focus much less have any magical uses. Um, you you see a bunch of different essential oils and other things, and then you do see things like healing potions, uh, but it's all kind of in this radial uh, s -s 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 setup. Um, uh, and uh, as you come in again, you see this very kind of tall, very thin, almost alien uh, uh, looking person that goes, hello, what can I do for you? Well, my fine fellow, I happen to be in the market for a couple of potions. As you may guess, we have a fine establishment. Fantastic! And he cuts you off. I know exactly what it is that you require. You see, I have right been to spit, touched... Right to spit where Dad freaking doubt it. Touched by the gods. And at this point, you start recognizing the telltale signs of an ASMR. I have been touched by the gods, given the power of the healing to the touch. And I generously offer my services to 
you. So, do not even tell me. I know what it is that ails you. And he, he looks at you. And he leans over the counter. And you see him kind of stand on something behind the counter so he can get even further. You see a knee come up on the counter. And he's like leaning out. And he gets right to about here. You. Oh! And he immediately... In a way that doesn't seem possible with how center of gravity works, he just kind of swings back to where he was. Oh, I cannot b -b -b believe the pain, the torture you've put yourself through. It is upsetting to, 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 to me. I must heal you. Yes, and I can see exactly what you need. And he start. He jumps out from behind this circular counter that he's behind. Um, you're not exactly sure how he got from one side to the other. He seemed to almost just pass through it. Um, but you see him kind of running around to these various arms of this, 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 this store. And he comes back with the most aesthetically pleasing pile of junk you have ever seen. And he goes, these crystals are attuned to the healing energies inside us all. Simply sleep with them in... And he brings out this very large uh, uh, piece of oilcloth that actually has uh, uh, effectively uh, a picture of a humanoid form uh, that has all these points marked on it. Just be sure to sleep with them on these various healing points. And he points to a bunch of different places. And within three days... The mental anguish that you have gone through for so many years will finally leave you. Now, for the physical pains, I can see you carry yourself as someone in pain. I can see you favor your left leg over your right. Arthritis is nothing you should be ashamed of. So, take these herbs, brew them into a t -t tea for three hours, exactly three hours. Let it cool to ice cold in the midnight air. And then, when you bring it back in, add two drops of lemon juice and the rind of a lime. And then just the entire concoction in less than 15 seconds. This will cure all of your ills and you can see there again it is very pretty looking but there is a very large pile of items that he seems to be going one through the other so if you want to stop him at any point you aren't welcome to otherwise i'm gonna kick it keep going oh yeah, god well, <laughs> i was like like i was gonna interject like, like hey, when, when can i interrupt whenever you want as much as i applaud the salesmanship and and the genuine enthusiasm you may have. I am not Meredith Caltro, and I am not particularly in the market for uh, crystals today. Oh, um, if I may be so, uh, may be so bold to tell you what I need. I am looking for uh, one oil of slipperiness, and possibly at least two potions of uh, the regular variety of healing, just in case of emergencies. Looking to restock the old medicine kits. For case of emergency, he you see his face kind of drip, drop. Oh, you're one of those. <laughs> Certainly, and he goes over and he two potions of healing, one oil of slipperiness, two hundred gold pieces, please. Oil of slipperiness, you said, and two and and two regular healing. Uh, oh, two regular healing potions, yeah. my. Very sorry. 250 pieces of gold. And he puts yeah. another one in. And as fine as the establishment as is, I am sure you can understand the need that I can want to get the, mo the most value, the most uh, currency I have for your materials. And so I am absolutely hoping that there is some way we can absolutely work something out for at the absolute best price between seller and customer as I activate Faye Presence. Okay. <laughs> Which, once again, is an ability I have as a Fey Warlock, which is nice. not a spell. Okay. Do you need me to post it again? Just look it over. Uh, I believe it's just um, 
uh, advantage on uh, persuasions, right? Uh, well, it's a wisdom saving throw, DC 16. Oh, okay. uh, but it's not, it's not, it's not a spell, uh, but as much as, uh, becoming charmed, uh, becoming charmed or frightened, my choice until for at least one turn. Okay. But it's uh, a, but it, it's but a charmed un- effect. Charmed effect, but unlike other things, it's not an actual spell. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it doesn't, it doesn't stipulate anything about saying like, you know, like, you know, when you cast friends and suddenly you piss them off after the spell wears off. And what's the, what's the, did, 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 mm, d- wisdom DC 16. Thank you. Uh, so as you, you sit there and you start kind of exuding this FFFFFA presence, you watch him lean in closer. It's a very nice trick. I'm just thinking I'm slathering it all. first one who's ever attempted to do that to me, you will be sorely mistaken. And I, I believe I misspoke. I'm playing stupid. I'm pl- now. I'm going to play stupid because he's like, I'm just like, sl- I'm just like trying to be the mo- uh, convey the my my most my most uh, basic needs and desires here. Surely you can unappreciate that. Uh, now, I, do I need to, do I need to roll a deception? Because <laughs> uh... I'm oh, playing oh, dumb. Because oh, like I okay. Um. Sorry, I had to to, to, to deal with uh, uh, Zoom going weird on me. Um, so, uh, sure, go ahead and go ahead and roll de- 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 deception uh, at disadvantage. Oh, oh, disadvantage! Great. It's remarkable when you attempt to influence one and you f- someone and you fail. They're significantly more difficult to convince of anything. Th- 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 oh, frig! Well, my best is a fifteen. Okay. Wow, it is impressive how many low rolls I get. Well, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Elias, for giving a tier one sub to Zoom. Uh, I sincerely ap- appreciate Zoom being subscribed to my channel now. Uh, going back to this, um, you see, uh, the, the, the person, well, obviously you must, must not have realized the, uh, precarious position that you put yourself in, correct? Yes, yes, no, that's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. As I was saying, I I forgot. There has been an interruptment in the shipments from uh, the northern reaches uh, that I that I use to make my healing potions. So unfortunately, it seems that the whole amount will be three hundred gold pieces. Oh, so I'm sorry. Did now out of character? Did he buy it? Uh, oh, it increased. He, <laughs> he increased the price. You're you're not a hundred percent certain whether he b- b- bought it or not because reading him seems to be a little more d- 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 difficult than you th- th- think. Uh, he 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 seems to have a pretty damn good b- b- poker face. It may have something to do uh, with the fact that he's b- b- been in business for a very long t- time. Yeah, and it's remarkable how good a poker face salesmen have. Okay, so he's upcharging me fifty. Yeah, so currently that is the that has been the offer that has been made. And he's okay. So, do we have a deal? Do I? Now this is the last ditch effort here. Mm-hmm. Uh, do I yeah. get any feeling like if I if I were to insight this guy is there anything else i could pitch to him uh i mean insight can always tell you the, the things that you don't know yet so uh and an insight check in my book an insight check is not an active thing where they will realize that you're doing something like you're not reading their mind you're just getting a feel for them so go ahead and make an insight check you okay. if you f- quote unquote fail it the worst that happens is you don't find I out can't get anything, a read on yeah or you find out something that's actually not true 
All right, 13. It's not going to affect them. So yeah, uh, l- l- looking at him, like I said, uh, the, the 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 thing that you realize the most ab- about him is just the fact that he has a he has an incredible p- 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 poker face, uh, and it's actually uh, to the point it's it's a little bit impressive at how good he is at hiding his into detentions because you know you know beyond a shadow of a doubt he has just lied to your face, you know that it was two fifty now it's three hundred and he's doing it just to spite you, and what he s- said to you was oh it's more expensive because cost of goods went up and you can't find a lie in that he hasn't he hasn't bled through anything about that but, 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 but being a lie which does tell you at the very least he is a very good liar yeah and i'm gonna get because i don't want to like i don't want to drag this out and go from place to place so i'm treating this as this is the this is the best option i have for a potion place um uh, so, if, if you want to try another place, you you are more, more, more than welcome to. You're only on tier two. I mean, there's still a tier three. Yeah, you 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 picked this one because it had everything that you needed, and it it was it was in a good 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 place. If if you want to try shopping around, you can. I'll I'll to make things easier. I'll have you make a a roll for it just to not have to to, to deal with yeah. too much. But it's it's uh, not entirely up to you. I will mention with a with your b- b- background, you would recognize that uh, businesses talk to each of each other, even competitors. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing I was thinking. Like there, so I think it'll be better. Just like I'll just begrudgingly give him the three hundred. Okay. He goes. Let me wrap that up for you. And he goes around, and you see him get this really kind of nice uh, bag, and he sits there, and he wraps each individual potion separately um, in enough paper that even if you were to drop the bag, you are relatively certain uh, that the, the, uh, the potions would be intact. Spitwick gives me a mental question of poop in a corner. I go, <laughs> <laughs> not right now. And as he uh, g- g- gives it to you, he kind of uh, holds it out uh, f- f- for you. And as you take it, he kind of grabs your wrist. You know, if I'd spent as much time in prison as you had, I might want someone to help me out with the bad memories. And then he lets your hand go. Have a lovely day. <laughs> you as well. And Smegwick leaves definitely like sends an image this time to Spitwit of Flaming Sphere, Flaming Sphere, Flaming Sphere. <laughs> how many how many Molotovs can Krexy make in a day? <laughs> You're in the wrong campaign for blowing things up with fire. <laughs> you already have a guy for that. <laughs> you don't need say. two. You don't need two. Yeah. Uh, so, that was the, 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 that. Um, and then the scrolls uh, scrolls are so incredibly easy to f- 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 find. Um, I'm going to let you choose one uh, tier one, two, or three. Um, anything on to the tier one, uh, uh, you're going to get the same quote unquote quality scrolls. They're spell scrolls. That's what yeah. they did to do. Um, however, the higher the tier, probably the more they're uh, going uh, going to be open to conversations and to the things like that. Where the mm. lower tier are going to be more of, hey, this is how it works. Buy and go. Yeah, they're level ones. So they're not going to be like a lot. So I guess I think it's going to be a quick in, quick out. Okay. For two for two scrolls. Okay. Um. So uh, without too much difficulty, you actually uh, you find this kind of hole in the wall shop. It is as you go into it, the first thing that you notice about the the, the shop, which has no name, it just has uh, a picture of an open spell book. With a page being torn out, um, and uh, uh, as you go in, the first thing that you notice is this feels like a closet, not a shop. It is remarkably small. Basically, two uh, two walls that have a bunch of uh, d- 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 different tomes uh, on them, a desk in the back, and uh, a um, uh, a uh, rather large uh, centaur uh, standing b- 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 behind it. Oh, um, hey, wow. Wow, this is everywhere. This is... <laughs> that is actually this is one popular. of my best-selling books. This is popular. I've been meaning to get around books. to this. 
I've been meaning to get around to this. <laughs> you should probably pick it up. <laughs> or the uh, prequel to it, Alice the Terror Medium Chronicles, written by Kelly <laughs> Callaghan. I'm gonna... <laughs> I heard she's a pretty famous Faye. I'm gonna... Yes. I wonder, I wonder if she's those book sign ins. I'm gonna have to check this out. I, 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 have, I, have it, I have it in my I have it next to my stand waiting to read it. Uh by the way, folks, go buy Curie's books. She's amazing. And the they really are phenomenal reads. She deserves to be much more famous for her writing than she is. Anyway, uh, so yes, yeah, so you see um, this uh, uh, very, very kind of uh, f- f- feminine centaur uh, b- b- behind as he comes in. He goes, oh, hello. It's lovely to meet you. What can I do for you? Two scrolls of thunder, wait, please. Of course, of course. And as she's sitting there and she's kind of going through various things, it's surprising how popular this particular spell is. It seems that every time I make one, another person comes in for my last copy of it. I, um, well, mm. I only have one available right now, but if you don't mind waiting for about 20 minutes, I can make another one oh. very quickly. Oh, 20 minutes? Yeah, that's nothing. There. Oh, I'll, it's I'll, simply I'll, I'll peruse your ways. In fact, you see her kind of take a wand out of nowhere. It just kind of appears. And she kind of points at you, and in front of you, you see this kind of standing table just up here. Yeah. And you see a little cup of t- t- tea uh, and some biscuits. Please, just oh. enjoy yourself. Uh, I'd hate to have you just sitting there waiting, doing nothing. And oh, I'll definitely her... be perusing, perusing for a bit. I'll definitely enjoy the tea, though. Thank you. And so you see her kind of making uh, the spell scroll. And as you're, you're watching her kind of... Uh, 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 as you're watching her write this as a spell scroll, you can't help but be kind of enamored with what she's doing specifically. Having done a fair amount of magic, but never having done the actual kind of back-end work a lot of wizards have to do to learn their magic of studying, you know, arcane words and and different scrolls and other things like that. You are very much kind of drawn to what she's doing because instead of it just being like, oh, Right, you know, I will cast Fireball 400 times on the wall or something like that. This seems like an art form. I mean, you've watched as Crexney has kind of cast her spells using uh, her calligraphy, and that's interesting. But this, she, she almost makes it into a dance. Uh, she's doing it, and she kind of hums as she's doing it. And, and Smegwit kind of chats with Spitwit and he goes like you know Spitty I always understood the magic I just never had the ability to do it myself and so Early she's doing on. this she eventually kind of notices the 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 the, the uh, and Elias yes we always have our c- c- carry books near us on p- p- purpose um, <laughs> the art cheerleaders um, and as she's doing it she kind of notices that you're watching she's like oh do I have another arcane initiate with me? Well, Do you dabble in the spell arts? Yeah, well, you have a minor illusion, all that. Yeah, recently. Hasn't been too long, but yeah, I've been, uh, I guess you could say, uh, acquiring new skills. Oh, that's simply lovely. I always had the knack for that stuff. I just never had the capability before. You know, I've met a lot of people that just keep telling me that oh i just it's so difficult there's so many rules to learn and it's just annoying it's really not as hard as people think it is in fact because you've been so patient and at this point about 15 minutes have passed because you've been so patient i want to show you something i think you'll really enjoy and so she goes under it and she brings out this kind of leather bound tome and she goes simple book right nothing really that fancy about it watch as i do this and she kind of takes it off and she opens it and there the book itself is remarkably small and kind of scant inside of this this uh leather wrapping to the point that it, it looks almost comical how small the book is barely a dozen pages in there right let's let's count them very quickly here one to, and she goes and gets to the 12th page. Seems there's still more here. I guess I must have underestimated. She goes, counts another 30. It's so strange. There's still more pages here. And she counts another 50. She starts counting them in groups. Goes to 100, 200, closes it, and it still looks only to be a few dozen pages. Isn't that amazing? 
This is one of my favorite, favorite things I've ever created. It's effectively just, you could use it as a spell book, though it's not quite robust enough to be a full spell book, but if, if you wanted to keep track of maybe rituals or something in it, it's perfect for that. And it always has just a few more pages than you actually need. Can I, uh... Oh, Thank by you. all means. And she gives it to you. Thank you. Uh, he opens it up. I think there's like two spells probably in there. Uh, currently uh, there, there are no s s s s spells in it. Um, but, uh... As part of the feet, you would learn two spells. Okay. So you you would have to do two spells, but she doesn't. She doesn't. Because again, part of uh, having your own ritual book 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 book, book is um, all, all all wizards uh, that copy spells and things like that have their own kind of way to put put it down. So that's why it costs money to learn new spells and things like that. Because they have to translate from a spell scroll into their own kind of shorthand. Um, to put it in their book. So uh, a ritual book with rituals already in it would not be particularly useful because you would still have to copy them into your own book so that you would be able to use them. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So I will have to after. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. I, I, I will say as part of this transaction, she would kind of teach you two rituals or kind of explain how to uh, scribe rituals, that process would take an additional hour of your yeah. time, but she would be more than happy to do that. I think the reason why Smegwick keeps talking and chatting, back, like, definitely in that moment, like, you know, two nerds talking back mm -hmm. and forth, because he always had the capability. He was actually tested as a child, but the weave was just never with him when he was a child. Uh, but he had the knack for learning the spells, and he had knack for learning things. That's how he... He learned Elvish by male correspondence courses. Well, again, there's a difference between having a knack for magic and being a wizard. Yeah. So. Yes, absolutely. And that's the reason why, like, it just wasn't, he wasn't gifted. Uh, but as more as he talks about it, the more stuff's making sense. Mm -hmm. Something's clicking. So just to, to speed yeah. things up a little, little bit, over the next hour or so, you watch her create the, the Thunder spell, uh, a Scroll, and then she... Um, helps kind of guide you uh, in the art of uh, ritualized spell casting. Um, and uh, during that process, I won't have you name them now, because I think it'll be more interesting for everyone to find them when you use them. Um, yeah. But she also kind of guides you in uh, uh, scribing your first two to two rituals into your now ritual book. Um, and uh, but, 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 but because of the kind of pleasant interaction, she's like, you know what? You're you're kind enough to to you know wait for me to make your other scroll. The ritual book is a gift. Uh, Thanks. Uh, means actually, means so a total of a hundred gold pieces for the uh, the scrolls and the cells. Yeah. And well, I'm sorry. What was your name? Um, Esmiel. Esmiel. Yes. Esmiel and Dante. And Dante? And Dante. A N D A N T E. I got it right. Take that, useless music minor. Mm -hmm. Well, as you could definitely uh definitely say I appreciated this more than my last encounter. Mm. Well, you have a just and... lovely day. Hoping for the future, you might see more of me. I would be very happy with that. And uh, so maybe rolls, uh, runs back out and heads back to the ship with his with his wares. So, um, unless uh, you have something else you wanted to do, 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 do before the end of the day, your first twenty-four hour period is over. Um, as you all are kind of getting ready to bed down for, for, for the night uh, you have someone uh, come up to the gangplank of uh, your sh sh ship um, uh, don't say roll for anything 
Uh, and so, uh, you see this, uh, did a gentleman kind of stand there and, uh, he kind of knocks on the gangplank, uh, and waits for someone to, to come go, go, greet him. Uh, I mean, I think, cause I know several people are busy of like, are we playing no-nos for who answers? <laughs> I would probably, uh, be on the, uh, ship and then I only need, like, uh, eight hours to practice, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, everybody's everyone's on the ship at the, 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 this point. Okay. This is this is right before b -b bedtime. Okay. I'll, I'll also come back with food, like with whatever. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Fish and chips. Uh -huh. Various stuff, making sure it also gets some for Thomas as well. Uh, so, Owie, are you the uh, are you the person that comes out to Giga Uh, uh maybe with that, like. Uh, Everyone uh, else near, uh, I'll open the door. Okay. Uh, well, again, this um, hello? is... Hello? Uh, so you see this uh, uh, gentleman. Uh, I've uh, I've been told to give you a, a present here, love, uh, oh. from a mutual friend. And you see he's got two packages. Uh, the first one is effectively an envelope. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's, he kind of hands it over. You can feel it's relatively heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can tell because there's a, a, a key... Uh, and if you peek inside, you can see there's a little uh, sheet of paper that lists an address. That'll get you where you want to. And um, a uh, benefactor by the name of Elias Thompson gave you these. Uh, everyone gets a potion of supreme healing. Awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. From oh. Thank you, sir. By the way, for anyone watching, uh, if uh, you want to use your channel points, which we call TJ Tales, uh, you can do things like give out potions or cast spells on the party or give uh, inspiration, things like that. I do all of that uh, through my, my, my um, uh, channel points because I think it's fun to have the audience interact with the Giga game. So uh, that is the end of your first d -d 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 day. I just realized I haven't had music on this entire time and I feel Ooh, dumb whoops. I got cool music. I keep forgetting to do herb ambience. It's not really music. Um, so, uh, day two. You guys now, um, you've just been given the key to uh, the uh, penthouse apartment that you guys are uh, going to uh, attack from. Uh, so with that, mm -hmm. uh, do you guys have anything specific mm -hmm. you would like uh, to uh, d -d 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 do? Um... I don't need to craft anything, right? Because we're not going to use potion, the poisons. Uh, you didn't pick up any p -p poisons, so right. So I don't have no crafting. Because like, you were crafting, because the, the first day you were crafting your grapple. Yes. Yeah, and that is this day I'm done. free. Yeah. If I remember correctly, I mentioned you could uh, you could craft four of them with the twelve. Twelve. You can craft twelve of them. Is what I, I said. I was just making sure you knew oh, yeah. what I said. I wrote it down. Gotcha, uh, yeah. So yeah, you have a, a grand total of uh, t -t 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 12 of them. Okay. So do you guys need anything else crafted or that you can think of? Do you guys want to start recon now that we have a key? Um, I mean, I don't know how long it'll take it, but if you if you do have free time, maybe we could make some of them stick them bags, if that's at all an option for you. Okay. Can I roll for making those catching bags? Uh, yes. Uh, it's called a tangle foot b -b 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 bag. Tangle foot. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, you'll have to send someone out for supplies because this would be something you don't uh, normally have. Okay. Go ahead and uh, make me uh, a... Uh, uh, and then uh, roll a d20, add your intelligence modifier and your proficiency bonus. Make a tinkering check, effectively. So I also want to check in our time. So effectively, we can click long rest now, right? Yes. Oh, you, you've had a long rest. Okay. How did they roll two? I don't know. Magic. Can I pick fireworks? <laughs> uh, we can so use both it. of them, to be perfectly honest. So I got a 14 and a 17, and my is plus, you said intelligence? Yeah, intelligence and it's your proficiency plus, bonus. Intelligence is plus three. Profici proficiency is plus three. Okay, so both so of those are above 20. Mm -hmm. 
Well, Matt. 20 and then, yeah, one's at 20. Yeah. So, um, uh, Smegwick kind of describes the idea of this thing. It's, it's effectively uh, a, a cloth sack that is designed mm -hmm. to rupture uh, upon hitting someone and cover them in this incredibly um, adhesive uh, tar-based uh, solution. Um, and it kind of gets you thinking, you're like, ooh, this sounds fun. And so it takes you the better part of about two, two and a half, three hours to be able to do it. But you eventually um, are able uh, to, 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 to make uh, a grand total of four of these Tanglefoot bags. Um, the cost of them is 15 gold a piece uh, for the supplies and everything you use to, to kind of make them. Um, and... Uh, Four times yeah. fifteen, you said. Mm -hmm. Effectively, what will happen is if you hit a target with them, and the target fails a DC uh, for a fifteen uh, strength s -s 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 save, uh, they will be covered in this goo and be restrained. Uh, if you throw Sorry. it on the ground, it'll cover a um, uh, a like ten foot area, uh, and a creature in there will have to make a dexterity uh, s -s saving throw or be effectively grappled in that spot. How long are they entangled for? Time. Uh, it lasts uh, for, for a minute or uh, uh, until they make their save. They get to keep making a, a save at the end of their turn. Okay. And they can use an action to... Um, or no, that would be... Um, yeah, it lasts for a minute until they make a save and they have to use an action to make a save. Sorry. They don't get a free save. Mm-hmm. Well, then I will work on that for the next three hours. Okay. Uh, the rest of you, uh, uh, again, from your vantage point, which I should be able to show everyone, uh, from your vantage point, you guys can see um, uh, the balcony. You don't see anyone there currently, but from your vantage point, you can't really see inside the penthouse. You can just really see the b -b balcony. <laughs> So, uh, what would you? Uh, what would the rest of you guys like to do? It it takes you like twenty minutes to go out and get the supplies for her. So that's mm -hmm. uh, uh, a simple thing. Um, I basically relay all the information that I learned. Like, yes, this is the vantage point that we were basically given thanks to the key. But I also take the time to to kind of explain the layout of this entire area, and I say like. All right, so yeah, we're set up mainly right here, but in case anything happens, I also spotted some pretty nice looking spots that we could also uh, try to take advantage of. And I point to like, um, should I roll to see like how many acceptable spaces I find that could also work as a backup plan just in case or something? Uh, as a far as escape uh, routes? Uh, uh, for escape routes, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say from, from the balcony itself, um, you have two separate uh, uh, escape routes to the south, effectively, of what we can see here. Because you guys can't see the whole balcony here. Um, as far as alternate places that you could try the assassination from, this is really it. Because, again, you weren't able to get... You guys are uh, uh, effectively on, uh, like, Tier 6. Um, and you were only ever able to get up to Tier 3. So you wouldn't have been able to find another place... To make the ambush for, for from, gotcha. Um, but yeah, so you have you have two escape routes from the balcony itself, and you would have multiple other options once you get off the b -b 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 balcony. If that makes a sense, it does. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the rest of you have twenty four hours. Is there anything else you want to do? Do you just want to kind of chill? Uh, the penthouse that you guys are in uh, looks, to be blunt, it looks new. Um, there's very little for, for furniture. Um, there's nothing in any of the cupboards or anything. Um, it, 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 it looks like no one lives here. But it's very clean. Like an apartment or condo that's empty but has been maintained. Yeah. It, it looks ready for showing. We'll put it th th that way. Someone left out a plate of warm cookies, so the smell would 
<laughs> Not that, that, they don't share quite enough about, about, about it. Cookies. By the way, if you are selling uh, a house, it's a really good thing to do is bake cookies. Yeah, that's a yeah. tactic. Mm -hmm. Remarkably <sighs> useful. Open houses. Uh, every time. Does Reggie want to give Spitwit invisibility and I can send Spitwit over there to try and do some recon? Ooh, I like that idea, actually. Um, minimum, we could try and get at least, even if he can't get the door open, he can still get a closer look inside that because it's like they're French doors, is what we were told. Okay. Um, uh, as a reminder, we, you guys have full access for 24 hours of nobody have, in there, right? You have full access to your yes. balcony, not the, the okay. theirs. Exactly. Um, but uh, you will have a okay. long rest after this before the assassination cuckoo goes down. So, so, so any spells that you use today yeah. won't okay. have effect. Yeah, that's what okay. I was asking. Okay, okay, then yeah, I'm definitely going to use a, a, a second level invisibility on Spitwit. Okay, so Spitwit <laughs> has effectively an hour. Um, the first issue uh, Spitwit will come to um, uh, as he goes down there is... Uh, he doesn't see anyone inside, but the doors themselves are shut. Um, so if Spitwick wants to try and um, basically get the doors open, uh, I would need uh, either a uh, dexterity check or uh, a uh, strength athletics ch -ch 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 check. Uh, let's just pull this up real sick. I'm pretty sure dexterity will be his best bet. Uh, dexterity... Plus two. And you can add your proficiency bonus to the, the dex check as well. Because I would, okay, I would be... assume uh, uh, Spitwick is, is used to going places it's not supposed to. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, he, he has a. Oh, okay. He has a proficiency bonus of plus two, so that would be plus four. Oh, I was almost 19. Oh, God, dang it. So that'll be 10. Okay. So as Spitwick is kind of uh, uh, sitting there and trying to get in, he cannot get these doors open, no matter w w w what he uh, tries. But he is able to kind of see in uh, the uh, penthouse. And because he's close enough to you, you can share his sight without any issues. Um, yep. So as you uh, l l look in, you can s s see um, inside uh, the, 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 the uh, apartment. First of all, it is very well furnished. Um, there, uh, there's like a, a fruit basket in there. Um, there's other things. There's like, there's some cups and things like that showing that people have been in there relatively re 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 recently. Um, uh, and, uh, you do see, uh, on one of the tables are four. It's hard to call them crossbows because they've become they've been modified so much that they barely resemble them um a, a, a better term might be like bowgun um but you can see four uh uh four of these bowguns sitting uh on a table uh inside the, 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 the there um and they look incredibly c c complex but you would assume those would be the weapons that the assassins would be using. Probably would tag us. Probably mm -hmm. would tag me and Reggie. And I will be relaying mm. all that to them. Oh. Oh my. They have modified the <laughs> hell out of those things. Those even guns? They're not. Uh. They're not for firearms. They still fire a crossbow b b b b bolt. But everything about them has become specialized. Unfortunately, because they are inside, if you really want a good, uh, good, good look at them, you would you would have to physically get one. Hmm. And I think messing with one of those would probably be a bad idea. But I could figure it out. I could see it if I can get there. Wait a minute. As far as we can tell, if the place is just closed up, but there's no one in there right now, right? Currently, there is no, no, no one in there. Like I said, the, you've seen that, you know, cups and things lying around that people have been in there recently, but it is completely abandoned currently. Ugh. Currently. If no... Okay. Uh, uh, Smegwick. Have Spitwit fly around a little bit longer. Get 
get actual confirmation that the place is completely empty. If they're a backup idea, just in case, if that place is empty, I could probably have I could probably have someone I can volunteer myself for this one as well. Actually, hold on before I go any further because mm-hmm. I just want to reconfirm something that you mentioned, Jody. Mm-hmm. Um, you mentioned like a clothesline or something that we can think- use to get from this balcony yes. to the balcony yes. of our target, right? Correct. Yeah. It is. Okay. It was specifically mentioned that this particular clothesline for reasons no one can explain, has been reinforced to be able to hold the weight of multiple full-grown humans. And, and and as of right now, we have no official information of what these guys' schedule is today. We know they're going to be there tomorrow, but we don't know if they're going to ever show up at all today, right? They could show up in like the next five minutes or something, right? It's theoretically possible. You, you okay. have nothing saying either way. Ah, crap. Um, I have invisibility, I... too. So do I. But I have the knock, but I have the knock spell. Mm. If those doors are locked, I could unlock. Wait, do I? Yes, I do still have knock. I have the knock spell. If those doors are locked, I can unlock them. One of us could sneak in, possibly sabotage their guns. Maybe not outright steal them. They'll notice that one right away. But maybe we can tamper with them a little bit. Give us a little bit of an edge. What if we attach that that poison as a trigger so when they shoot their bow, it doesn't shoot an arrow, it shoots the poison? Well, it, they would, they, it wouldn't be preloaded. I mean, unless, unless the bolts are there, Jody? Uh, hmm. Because it uses a, uh, a, a, a bowstring, uh, leaving it loaded would, would damage the, yeah. the bow. Yeah. But yeah. they're... All the supplies are there. They're just not loaded. And again, you have an artificer. If she wanted to try and rig something up, it would be rolls that would have to be done about whether you know, or not one she way, could succeed. Well, one way to possibly do it is don't sabotage the bolts themselves or the anything. Triggers. Because, yeah, that sabotage like trigger. sabotage the little triggering mechanism. As soon as that little thing makes impact to launch the bolts, it's instead going to hit a little... Reason. A poison, a little poison bags, yes. And the next thing you know, they're poisoning themselves in there. And then the arrows mm-hmm. won't shoot. And then the arrows won't shoot. Yeah, about it, guys? We're, low, we're low and we're, we're getting, our funds are dwindling <laughs> if we're doing poison. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and there's also okay. just straight up tampering, but this also keep in mind that's, uh, that's possibly doing that four times. Yeah. Yeah, that's expensive. Say, after doing it once, it would be significantly easier. Mm. What do you all want to do? I'll leave this to the, the safe, experts. Just to just to just to be on the safe side. Aside from the supplies and these heavily modified bow gun contraptions, is there anything else of note in this apartment, or is it just? Uh, there's there's food um the only thing that you would not expect to be in the apartment are the bow guns everything else makes sense furniture food uh uh beverages uh there's uh there's a wine rack in there half the wine bottles Wor- are worst missing. case we can sabotage the bow guns because if that's what they're physically going to be using they can't shoot us or anybody else with it so even if we don't put a poison trap on it it'll at least take out those weapons especially if it's not noticeable we but know then, for... then oh. they would know it was us how how they, they won't see us tampering oh. it. because chance because if all goes well we'd be tampering with them right now we'd be in and out before anyone notices and it's not like they're going to practice shooting in that house so it's not like they're going to be able to pre-see that it's broken. I think it's the reason though they, why they're there now. They've already they they don't need the practice. They got everything yeah. situated. They're waiting so for the big day tomorrow. Worst case, we take out two weapons. Two, oh, you said yeah. right? Two oh. or four. Oh, four? All four of them. Yeah. Well, then yeah. Worst case, we just make them inoperable. Uh, 
if someone should at least one of us should keep watch just in case. I can do my best. Well, you keep watch and then I keep watch through Spitwit. Well, mm. we can both do it. We both have invisibility and it lasts for how long? One hour. Would an hour be long enough for me to... How long does it take to to tinker. do it like a tinker on a, on a device like this? Because uh, you said like if you, do, this... if you do it once successfully, then the subsequent times I will say are easy. Mechanically, it would be two separate roles. You would have one role where Crexy would need to literally figure out how the thing works because this is not a regular crossbow. That's why I mm. call them something different. It is different enough that you'll have to sit down and actually examine the, 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 the thing. So that'll be one role. Once that's done to rig it, uh, that would be a, this is a separate role. Um, and uh, the, uh, the roles that you make would uh, factor into how long it takes. Um, it may take uh, uh, as long as like 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, it may take uh, a couple of hours. Worst, worst case, I have three slots for invisibility that I'm not using anything else with it right now. Uh, also, well, the question is, do you have a way to get out of there really quickly? I'm fast. I'm super fast. I can just stay invisible. I will say the, uh, the zip line effectively is a one-way trip. Yeah, because it gets us yeah. down. You can yeah. try climbing back up it, but it would be very, very difficult. Yeah. Um, this might be a dumb question, but if we were to take the zip line, what tier would we end up in? Still in the same tier or somewhere else? Uh, they're, they're both tier six. Okay, so if we're still in the same tier, if it was going to take me to a different tier, I would say, like, give Reggie the key so he can easily get himself back up to where you guys are. But if we're going to be on tier six this entire time, then we don't have to worry about that. How far is it from the balcony that we can safely walk out from and where we're at? How many feet? Uh, it's 15 feet between the b b balconies and the second, the, the lower balcony, the one where the assassins will be, is about 15 feet down. Because I have rabbit hop. I can jump 15 feet. So, yeah, you could, uh, you could do it. Your, your issue would be uh, you can f jump 15 feet, but the diagonal, because it's 15 mm. and 15, would be a little bit longer. If you could do oh, 20 yeah. feet, I would say that'd be more than enough to kind of rabbit it okay, gotcha. up. So if you can, gotcha. if you can find a way to get five additional feet, uh, <laughs> I'll say you have no problem. Luck, lucky footwork? Just kidding. Well, you know, uh, uh, again, stacking things or moving things so that you can to, to jump from there. Yeah, but then they would know we were there because I would have moved stuff. So it's, it's probably not wise. There's the option with, that you have Ogun. You, you, if you jump down, if you go down with the ropes, and you just like, you know, tie him to like the chair, or what, not necessarily tie, but like if you have some way of like just keeping the rope me, there, he can pull me up. But you might, can, would he be able to pull me and Reggie up if we roped ourselves between there and? I I would say both of you at the same time. Not would the same time, individually. Be difficult, but individually, Reggie is is remarkably lightweight. Um, I mean, okay. he's he's medium sized, but he's he's not a huge d -d dude. Okay. You you are significant. I I believe you are larger than than R R R Reggie. Oh. Okay. Well, then there's that option. Ogon can pull us back up, kind of walk back up the zip line. Okay. I should point out I have Misty Step. Can you mage hand us? No, you can't pick us up. It's too heavy, right? No, I definitely can't mage hand you. <laughs> Dang it. You have what, what would you call it? Missy step. Missy step, I can take myself across either way. Hmm. Can you open the door? If it's not locked. It is locked, though, I thought. Technically, Missy it... step requires sight, so because there's windows, he could step to the other side of the door. Hmm. I have but 30 I... foot. Uh, yeah, but I mean, if you were on one side of the door, the balcony because already it's a glass left. door... You could step. To oh, the, yeah. You could misty step to the other side and just open it. Well, that's. Either way, I just need to get in. I mean, I could probably pick it. I can just I can just use my yeah, knock but... spell to automatically unlock it. So. No need for a check there. Yeah, I'm just concerned about how long it'll take. Well, once. 
once you do like a check to investigate the weapon, that will tell you how long it takes, right? right? You're not, you don't actually have to start tinkering okay. and then we're committed to that time, right? right. One, you just have to do the first check to know how long it's going to take. Uh, it'll give you a, a better kind of time frame, uh, but things can go wrong when you're trying to rig it and it might take longer or shorter depending on the roll. So you can't 100% know, oh, it's going to exactly be this. That's the reason that you roll is not whether or not you can do it. It's the Rigging cost. something to mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, explode or whatever like that is not an incredibly difficult thing to do. If you've got enough time, you can do it. Um, you're not going to quote unquote fail to, to, to do it. The roll is going to be entirely based on how long it takes you to do it. I, I think Krexny is talented enough that there is no chance she can fail in doing this. It's just how and not long to be, it takes. Not you. to be too meta. She has very special tools and she has a special artificer ability. Yeah, hopefully. I mean that's that's what mm -hmm. I'm factoring the, the, the this on. It's not that she she could ever yeah. fail. She can't. It's just how long it's gonna take her. That's the only reason right. she's rolling. If it was right. something that she was just guaranteed to do, I wouldn't make her roll. Yeah. Uh real quick, Smegwick, uh why don't you choose Ethan or Adfifa for me? Uh it's Alright. Go on. Great. <laughs> okay. Anyway. So um Yep. It's, for that? me, it's just for me, it's just timing because I have, like I said, I have two invisibilities, so I can uh, approximately have about two or three hours of invisibility since I don't need those slots today. Uh, I have. Uh, let's see, how many do I have? You should have two left because you used one. Yeah, I have two left. Well, I have two left in second level. I right. still have. I still have my third level invisibilities, but I just used one in second level because I only. Oh, okay. Okay. Because I only used it once on myself. Well, on on a uh, spitwit. So I'll have spit, I got, I'll, I'll have spitwit fly around and see if he can get any kind of idea sure. if anyone actually else is there. Uh, okay. Before this all go go goes on, go ahead and just do a a perception check for s s s s spitwick, and that'll be the entire time he's running surveillance. Perception is, is the, the thing. Plus three. Spitwit. And you I'm can like, give him okay. an advantage. Uh, okay. Oh. Because again, this is kind of what Spitwick did it does. Oh, oh yeah, there at twenty. Go. Cool. Nice. You're relatively certain Spitwick's got that whole building f figured out. He's made friends with the pigeons. Like, <laughs> uh, so yeah, you guys are, are are fairly certain Spitwick should be able to give you as much notice as possible as that someone is coming. <laughs> All it's right. weird to see uh, a pseudo dragon give thumbs up, but there you go. <laughs> That's they, don't what have a, they, don't, like. they don't have opposable thumbs. Uh, I could That's give a, a uh, I could claws. give a thumb a claws up for him. So uh, who's going over just to, to kind of get things rolling? Me. All right. And me. And how are you guys get, 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 getting over there? Uh, um, essentially, I we need some type of rope period, just even to getting across. Again, rope, not a problem. You guys always yep. have access to river yep. rope. So you have access if we tie to multiple to kinds us, of rope. And Ogon will be on the other balcony. That's like worst case he is back. Okay, cool. Uh, so you guys are just going to zip line over? Yep. Yes. Cool. Um, one thing you notice when you uh, kind of uh, get something to kind of zip line down, the, uh, the wire itself does not move underneath your weight. It is reinforced enough that it feels very, very s -s 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 solid, almost as if it's not rope. But would it be something that I would know why it's there? Uh, uh, well, it it obviously has been put there to be used for this particular purpose. Like it is, it is very obviously there. However, you're not aware of any any tightening mm -hmm. mechanism that could get a rope taut enough that it would not at Move. least bend a little bit under it. If you want to take some time to explore, you could figure it out. But After. that would be time. After. One step also, at a time. <laughs> I, think, I think that's something you might want to consider later after the job. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. One step at a time. Yep. Okay. Definitely crossbows first. So you go down there. Uh, you're in front of the d -d door. What do you guys want to do? The, the door's locked. 
Okay, I'm going to first use knock on it to unlock it. And can I have Spitwick flying oh, around to try and like keep an eye out for mm-hmm. anyone? Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming so. Spitwick yeah. is on surveillance duty the entire time. Yeah. Uh, okay. And again, you guys are close enough that he never goes outside. He never really needs to go outside the 100 foot range that you have for telepathy in that. So you are always in constant contact with him. Okay. So you open the door. Uh, the first thing you notice uh, is there's a bit of a smell in here. Um, it's got kind of that kind of sweat body odor kind of smell of people that have not been keeping up uh, a, a, a place that they, they sh- sh- should as you come in. You start to notice seven. things that you could have seen before. You can oh. see seven of- guys set, sharing the same apartment. You see no some- one's doing the ch- no one's doing the chore wheel. You can see uh, uh, a, uh, a a a wash tub in the corner uh, that has dirty dishes in it. You can see a couple different piles of clothes that have a rather decent scent to, 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 to them. There's always um, takeout. Yeah, there's always. You don't know how they got Chinese takeout here, but it's there. There's still cartons. Oh my gosh. There's still um, cartons. So yeah, it's it's a little bit fragrant. It's it's unpleasant. It's not overwhelming or anything. Um, but you're you're definitely happier in Europe of a penthouse than this one. Uh, Krixney, as you come mm-hmm. over uh, to the Bogans themselves, uh, the first thing you are, are kind of su- surprised with is this. This is not a custom made item. All four of these guns are oh, identical yeah. in make. Um, mm-hmm. This is, and uh, as you just take a quick once over, this is master craftsmanship. This is something that is incredibly impressive to you. But all of the internal mechanisms that would kind of tell you how it works are contained inside the thing. So you have a choice. You can try to figure out everything without kind of breaking it apart and opening it up and put taking it into pieces or uh which will be more difficult or you can take it apart and hope that you can put it back you're relatively certain you can put it back together you're just not sure how much time it'll take for you to do that so (laughs) your choice is going to be do you want to try and do it difficult without opening it up or you're going to say to hell with this i want to see everything and start taking bits apart Keep in mind, we have no time frame. (laughs) I'm going to open it. (laughs) Open it. Cool. Then go ahead and make me uh, a tinkering uh, to to check, which again is just Mm D20 plus intelligence plus proficiency. Um, If you want to, uh, if you can find anything that lets you make a spell attack roll, it is the exact same roll. Um, So if you're on... um, Uh uh, If you're on um, D&D Beyond... Mm-hmm. Any spell that has an attack roll built into it. If you just click the attack roll, you can just roll that. It says D8. Uh, that would be a damage roll, not an attack roll. Uh, mm-hmm. Give me two seconds. I'm going to see if I can't make something for uh, you to make this easier. That's the one I want. You're the one I will want. Uh, let's go here. You do not have a single spell that has an attack yeah, roll with it. Thing. That's hilarious. Um, well, your spell attack modifier is a plus six. So just roll a d20, add a blah, blah, blah. Actually, roll uh, an arcana check because it's the exact same number. It is a plus six. Arcana. Oh, okay. Makes it easier. 25. Nice! 25. So as you look at this thing... Uh, Having built your own hand crossbow that you use, um, this feels very familiar to you. And as you start, you know, taking out bolts and and other things like that, this thing comes apart beautifully. Again, you are blown away with just how well made and designed Mm. this thing is. Everything is made of metal uh, inside. There are no wooden pieces on this at all. Even the actual... Mm frame of the bow they use a flexible kind of metal that you have never seen before you're not sure what the alloy is but it is perfectly Mm -hmm. built to hold the tension it's supposed to they have a metal cord for uh the bowstring everything about this 
is designed to just work all the time to be incredibly re reliable um, and it takes you the better part of about half an hour to really get everything apart um, and with uh, uh, with a 25 you're able to take it apart put it back together take it apart again in that for the 30 minutes it is that well designed you know this thing inside and out no 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 okay all right so then my next thing would be to uh, jam those triggers so they can't shoot okay. because you know it so well um mm -hmm. You don't need a roll for, 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 for that. It'll take you roughly about um, 10 minutes to get all of them jammed. Okay, that's perfect. So we can both just use our one hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so now that I'm tinkering, I break all four of them. Now, okay. do you want to look at anything while we are still here or do you want to get out? Because we still have, what, 20 minutes on our invisibility? um if we only got like 20 minutes left well, like, um, you would have had an hour while i was tinkering as well so. well the invisibility because you cast the invisibility at the same time it yeah you're tinkering we, have the, we have the same time limit well yeah um, but i'm saying while i was tinkering oh yeah it could have been oh oh yeah while i'm still invisible i'm doing like a quick uh no, well not a quick of slow like perimeter walk Look. of the interior mm -hmm. of the apartment just checking out everything careful not to actually disturb anything uh the um, thing and, you are most aware of is these people are monsters pigs. um they don't use uh there are so many rings on this beautiful wooden <gasps> table they've they've never they you, you're relatively certain they don't even know what a coaster is oh they're right there. They're in a stack. They're there right is, there. On the table. You right actually can see there. one where there's a coaster right next to a ring. And they're very nice, like, marble coasters. Mm -hmm. They're everything oh. about this. But, yeah, the going around, you just see, like, just the kind of disregard for uh, uh, the place itself uh, is very, very up, up, up apparent to you. Nothing that has been done here. They show absolutely no care whatsoever I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Things. I'm just gonna say, Jody. If in the next, in game five minutes, you have my, you have Reggie do like a wisdom check or an intelligence check. I'm. I am giving him disadvantage because he is just so disgusted, disgusted. by <laughs> the by these plebs. Uh, it, but that being said, he's he is gonna keep his stomach down for a moment. He's gonna mm -hmm. have his own set of his own like pair of eyes, just kind of doing a quick once around of the apartment. Um, but if they do are, run, at least you know. At least you know where they would run. Yes. Um, though I am going to ask one thing. This might be overthinking it, but I am going to be a little careful here. Are there any portions of this apartment that have like carpeting, or is it all like hardwood? Good question. Um, because whatever the answer is, Reggie's going to make sure to only walk on the hardwood because he doesn't want to <laughs> leave like any evidence of footprints. Oh, yeah. good idea. Um, it's it's mostly wooden floor, uh, floors. Uh, carpeting is not really a thing, uh, but oh. rugs, area rugs, and things like that are extremely could be common. Okay, yeah, he is not walking on any rugs. Um, so he yeah, is. basically all the all the furniture would be on some sort of an area rug. Um, okay. Most of the places that there is not furniture, uh, it's it's all um, uh, this particularly. It's actually uh, uh, it's actually marble. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's this, even is, this is a super super fancy like marble floors the countertops uh, uh, are all marble as well like it's a really really snooty kind of p -p 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 place okay slight um, I, slight slight uh side story uh criminals had broken into a place once they knew that uh forensics could break down shoe patterns on things like carpet so their brilliant idea was to walk across the carpet barefoot mm. <laughs> no no <laughs> It's a good um, thing you don't have things like toe prints or, you know, like skin like flakes that. that would could, could come off when you Well, do they that. gave them a more exact impression of a foot so they could, <laughs> didn't get to go you know exactly who they were. Um, I will say this, though. Try while, shocks! I will, I will say this, though. While Reggie is kind of doing a quick once around, he's also not, not never going to take anything, but he is, like, gently opening, like, drawers or cupboards just to see what other little things go these guys and, might and have make me a Go um, Oh, great. Sleight of hand to ch 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 check. Oh, okay. I have a what, plus eight. While that. he's rolling, I have a question. Since mm -hmm. I've taken this gun apart, could I essentially recreate it if I can find the stuff to do it? 
Um, I'm going to say uh, if that's something that you would like to do. Um, Not right now, but eventually. Uh, I would have you um, make a, a tinkering check roll um, to see if you could quick jot down enough notes that you would be able to uh, recreate it. Um, I would also point okay. out that if this, if this goes off without even half a hitch, you might be able to snatch one these things. Ooh. Right. I was thinking about that, but I'm just saying also yeah. no, it's something it. to know in case we lose it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, like I said, um, but, after we're done with Reggie's stuff, I'll, yeah, I'll have yeah, yeah. go for the... Uh, yep. And speaking of Reggie's stuff, I have rolled a 20. Not a nat 20. 20, it is a dirty 20. <laughs> so I... as you are kind of opening up the different things, uh, as you slide open one of the drawers, you hear uh, a uh, uh, the sound of uh, a wire becoming taut. And you immediately stop. That's a trap! Okay, how much is the drawer opened before I notice that? Like, uh, like barely, about, like just a crack? Two inches. Okay. Um, let's see. I don't have anything on me that I could use. Um, uh, this is a dumb idea. So if, if you if you say that this can't work, then that's totally fine. I don't plan to do anything to the wire, but could I like use my dagger? To like, would you, would you say it's reflective enough to for me to like stick the blade in the and I can like see what's inside? The opening is wide enough that it will take some craning of your neck, but you can you can uh, uh, just using your eyes and getting close to it, you can get close enough to kind of see the mechanism for the most part. Oh, I, what, I'm not interested in the mechanism. I'm just interested to see in the actual contents of the drawer. I have no intention of tinkering. Oh, the d -d 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 drawer itself. Um, uh, as you look into the d -d 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 drawer itself, uh, you can see um, what really looks like uh, small, um, very thin glass vials of some sort of powder. Um, and as you look underneath them, it looks that uh, uh, you can see um, uh, what, what, what looks like small kind of explosives of some kind doing a little bit of kind of math and everything the thing like that it looks like this is designed to create some sort of explosive force that takes whatever is in these little vials and launches it uh on whomever opens the drawer Ooh. in uh by the way I... josh to answer your question in the chat i do have thieves tools oh mm. I just could never remember. I could, I thought I remembered you using them once, but I couldn't remember. I uh, I mean, he Reggie is part rogue. He's mostly a bard, though, but he is part rogue. Um, okay, so I'm just going to keep those in mind, and I just I slowly push the drawer back, and I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Um, after with that, with that being done, I'm going to get back to Krexny. Hmm. And if you tell me, okay, so... Is it something that we could potentially use though? Because we already can't afford poisons, like something like a poison. Well, on one well, on one hand, um, we could definitely try to take advantage of those if you feel if you feel ballsy enough to try and tinker with a with a booby trap like that. On the second hand, though, we don't. These guys were clearly careful enough to set a booby trap, which mm. means they might be careful enough to check on everything that went that happened here once they get back here, which means. Most likely, what they're going to do when they get back is check that drawer, and if they see everything's missing, they're going to be on high alert, and they're most likely going to Are you sure they would have? That's my thing. Like, what I'm thinking, would they have set that themselves, though? Or is it something like someone else set it for them? Someone else is trying to get rid of them, not just us. We wouldn't be able to know anything like that, would we? Uh, I mean... Just yeah. from looking at a track, figuring out who said it, that's that's a little bit much. Um, yeah. Reggie, uh, with your kind of experiences... Um, with the people that I've dealt with in my life, If you yes. want to make just a flat intelligence to the check, you might be able to kind of discern... like it was, yeah. Effectively, just how difficult something like this would be to set up. If this is something okay. that anyone could make, or if this is something that takes a true artist... Okay, um, I don't. I have no modifier in intelligence, so this is just going to be a straight roll. Five. Uh, <laughs> it's it's a cool we, trap. We're gonna leave it alone. Okay. 
Look, it doesn't matter who look, it doesn't matter who said it. The thing is is that it is set. And whether these people know about it or not, my instincts are telling me that this is something that we shouldn't mess with. Mm-hmm. It's the third it's mm-hmm. the third draw on that one on that one dresser over there down the okay. hall to the left. Just stay away from that one. Okay. Well, at least we know it's there. All right. Wait a minute. I, I, I was just kind of bullshitting the location of that drawer. Eh. Well. Could? Yeah. Is that drawer in view of the of our balcony? Of my hookshot? Is... Uh, no, it's uh, on the, the back wall. Okay, yeah. I thought if it was in view, one of us could, like, launch a spell and trigger an explosion <laughs> from a distance. What was that? Pupper? My dog. Oh, uh, that was a pupper squeak. They're playing on the floor. Um, <laughs> again, from from your Ixus experience, the drawer that you didn't quite open, if if you were going into a, a, a place to steal from it, that would be one of the first places that you would look. Right. It is, it is just one of those places where you just go, oh, let's look there. If you're if you're very quickly just kind of tossing a place. That would be one of the first places you would look. So. Okay. 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 We're not here for those. We're here for the yep. guns. Yep. And have those been taken care of? We're all right. Bad. Let's. I'm good. All right. Let's get back. All right. So we're gonna go back to the balcony and essentially, I guess, between my jump and Ogun's pulling me up, I'm gonna get back up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Reggie. With the just... amount of time that you guys just have, uh, really mm-hmm. quickly. Uh, Smegwick, uh, uh, again, uh, choose even or odd. I'll keep going odds. Okay. All right. So, um, as you guys are kind of wrapping up every th- 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 thing, um, Lock the door you Smegwick, leave. you can't see them because they're still inside, but you did get a vision uh, f- f- from, uh, Spitwick of people coming up, uh, s- s- stairs. Nice. And you think they probably got about five minutes before they're going to have someone uh, in the b- 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 building. Spit wit, double d- double move, zips in. Okay. So you guys are effectively told five minutes. Okay. This is when you so, all go. Thank you, five. Thank Actors. You, no. <laughs> um uh and yeah, in that f- 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 five minutes. Uh with what you guys set up, it's not particularly difficult for you to get out, even with the fact that you're on a bit of a, a, a timetable. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys are able to g- 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 get back without too much difficulty. Um, the whole endeavor it's, uh, itself uh, with everything took roughly about an hour and a half. Uh, really quickly, uh, Crexy, go ahead and make me that tinkering check just to see. Um, I'm going to say because you had to get out of there real quick, I'm going to say make it with disadvantage. Okay. Well, it's definitely going to be an eight probably. Okay. Flash it. Does Flash of Genius apply to this? <laughs> and 13. Flash of Genius. You're going to have to remind me. I can't for the life of me remember what Flash of Genius does. Uh, when you or another creature you can see within 30 feet of you makes an ability check or saving throw, you can use your reaction to add plus three to the roll. All right. So, yeah, if, if you wanted to add a plus three, you can. Okay. Turn it into an eleven. Oh, okay. Which sure, why not? I get three still of those. Isn't enough. Well, did you say there was something? Did you say something else too, along with the gate? Or it was, was it a, just the it was gate? A dis- it was a roll with disadvantage. Yeah, a roll with disadvantage, and there it was eight and a thirteen. So but it was like, does it, anything else apply? Is what I'm saying. It's like your tools or anything, or that was with everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was my plus six. Yeah, it was just a bad roll. Uh, so yeah, um, as you kind of get, get, get there, um, the first thing you do is you get back to, uh, to the, to the, uh, to your balcony is you start furiously trying to write down whatever you can remember. Oh, and, this is for the notes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, notes. Yeah. Uh, you're just furiously trying to write down anything that you can remember and you got yeah. bupkis. Yeah. That's you're distracted. Nice. You hear this. And you're like, gotcha. you're gone. So. Yeah, unfortunately, you you weren't able to remember enough to be able to recreate it on your own. 
Okay. Um, but having seen it and take it apart, if you were to try and create your own version of it, you would have an easier time than if you were doing it from scratch. If that makes sense. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you guys all could get back. Um, you can, uh, the first thing you guys notice is shortly after you get, get, get back, um, you see, uh, the leader of the group kind of burst through, uh, the doors and, uh, come out to the balcony and go, bloody hell, clean up in there, uh. bastards. You see him just kind of out there. Breathing. Uh, you see him kind of look around, reach into his coat pocket. Hmm. Ah. Everything's so green. Hmm. Uh, so what do you guys want to do? do, do, do? I'm staying the hell out of the ice. I'm like, I'm, I'm back in the balcony, like mm -hmm. pretending like I'm hugging the floor. If I, even though I know we're at, a, at an up angle. Yeah, I'm um, kind of doing the same. I'm curious to see what happens. Okay. Mm. For the next, the next few hours, you see um, them kind of kick it coming uh, 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 in and out, uh, in or out. Um, Stay really low so they I'll, don't uh, see I'll have you. Krixny, uh, choose even or odd. Um, even. Even. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. The worst thing about all this, every time you ask, is you never tell us. I know. What the deal <laughs> is, we just like odd, even, whatever. Yeah, it's it's then easier goes, okay. than than flipping a coin. Okay, uh, continue, and you're like, gives you guys. Okay. Some Did we get it right or wrong? Right right? <laughs> so, so um, as you guys are there and you're kind of observing, and you guys realize at this point that the vantage point that you have is perfect for observing. It's it's actually not difficult at all to get to quite a few to different places on your balcony and get uh, uh, perfect observations of what they're doing um and over the next f f f few hours you can see you know every so often uh the leader will you know talk to other p p people or um uh the uh the the, the two goliaths will uh c c come out and just literally would just come to the edge of the balcony and stare at nothing for like 10 minutes and then go go, go <laughs> back in but correct me, you start getting a little bit worried when you see one of the assassins come out with one of the bow guns and he kind of sets it up and you see him basically kind of uh, doing almost like a dry run of what he's looking for. You see as he's just sitting there, he looks at the, the gun a little bit, aims it again and... Um. And then he goes b -b 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 back into the, 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 or, well, I guess, what would you want to do at that point now that you're seeing him kind of examine the g -g gun? Is that, well, do you want to d -d do anything? One. I want to see if he's going to know it's broken, I guess, because if, if we don't know if it's, if they fix it or not, we set ourselves up for failure. Ah. Well, it depends on, like, what would their up? Would they have to observe versus what she did to the to the crossbows to figure out something's wrong with them? Uh, they have to take it completely apart. I mean, obviously, to to find out there's something wrong is significantly easier than fixing it. Yeah, and again, with your trigger. with your high roll, um, and just how well you you understood the me me mechanics and everything the change that you made is going to be difficult for them it would be difficult for you to repair quickly and you did that on purpose and they it's are something not they you. would notice you're to be blunt you don't know yeah you you know that any changes that you made were made with the internal 
the, right, right, the right. stuff on the inside. So there's no way that they could look at it and tell that something was wrong. You were, you're confident enough in your ability that right. they wouldn't be able to do, to do that. But he obviously had noticed something. Um, so I'm just asking, like, you can you can tell other people, hey, look, if there's anything yeah. you guys want to try and do, 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 do you're welcome to. Because we're, we're all here now, right? Yeah, all, all of us you are together. Yeah. There. So I don't know if you guys want to hang out and Reggie, see give if me they... visi- Reggie, give Spit with invisibility again. I'll send him over. All right, hold on. Do I have... All right, I got one last second level slot here, so I'm going to give that to Spitwood. Okay. Uh, uh, if he can, I would like if he could... Kind of monitor get, that? If, like, monitor that, or like at the very least, like, perch up here, see if he can over here, listen. Yeah, Spitwood have no problem getting close enough to, to give you guys ears on and eyes on this as a scene. Um, so Spitwick g- g- gets over there. You can see... Uh, because the door now is just left open. That's why, yeah, that's um, why it's open. So Spitwick is able to get, get, get in there, no p- p- problems. Uh, he can see uh, the leaders just kind of going around every so often. He like slap one of the g- g- uh, uh, one of the g- 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 Goliaths, or you know, <laughs> you, uh, uh, you see him kind of almost slip on uh, uh, a bit of food that was left on the f- f- floor, and then he yells at someone. But then you see this other guy come in, and goes, uh, "Hey, boss, uh, I think we've got a problem." Asta, what in the hell do you want? I well, see, boss. Uh, I just it uh, it don't feel right. <laughs> what? It don't feel right, boss. I just I'm I'm saying it don't feel right. Like I've been using this. I know this. I know this. I. Uh, I mean, uh, I see him go over to one of the other ones. Oh no. Uh, uh, this one's uh, this one's Eli's. Uh, that one's not mine. Give me, one. give, me, give me a second, boss. And you see him kind of go out, and he he goes out to the thing. And again, Spetwick is 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 learning to follow the thing. He's like, nah, I just there's something wrong with. That. I don't know what it is. But he's alone at this point, kind of sighting his his bow gun. This is. Mm. He hey, boss. What? This, uh, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. Like, I've, I've used this, I use this a hundred times. And it just, Mm-mm. it's it's not feeling right. You know, I just, I'm not, I'm not a, uh, what do you, what do you call it? Uh, uh, an archifizer. You know, the the ones that, <laughs> they make the things, you know? I'm, I'm not one of them, but, uh. I feel like I'm in a, in a level of hitman right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, something's wrong, boss. I'm just saying. Is anyone else uh, b- b- been in here since uh, since we went off? What the bloody hell are you talking about? We locked the door. We locked that. I mean, wh- where are they going to come? They're going to fly in. Are you bonkers? Boss, I'm just t- t- telling you, we, we got to do this thing. And, and it's just... We got to be secretive about it, right? That's why we got these these things. And, and, and it wasn't cheap. And, you know, uh, uh, the Anunumi... The Illuminati. Illuminati. The, 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 the guys. Illuminati. You know? The Illuminati. I like the, that the, name. The dude that gave us the, 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 the contract. He said that we had to do this without anyone knowing. And, you know, and that's why he gave us these things so we could do it from super far away. And I'm just saying, you know, if this thing don't work, somebody's going to know. And the Illuminati, those people, they're going to be upset, you know. If, if if people know that we're taking jobs that we're not supposed to be taking. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm just saying maybe maybe do you, do you have a way to like get in contact with them, tell them that maybe something's up. Maybe they can send some of their anomalies here and, and, and then you know they can make sure that there's nothing wrong. Please stop talking. Just never never speak again. Does it still work? Uh, you already said that we're not supposed to really like fire it like when it's indoors because it's like super powerful and like blow a hole through the wall and then they lose their deposit and all that stuff I I mean if you want me to shoot something I can but uh, it's you know it, it, it might get us in trouble I'm hoping these guys are smart enough to realize you never dry fire a weapon <laughs> 
Load up a bolt. Pick a target as far away from here as you can. Make sure the bloody thing works. Right? Absolutely. That was all I was saying, Papa Boss. You know, let me uh, let me go do, do, do this. All right? So you see him go back out there. You see him shh. Loads the bow gun. Starts to sight it. Can Stegwig just fly it off? Take it, Stegwig. Run with the bow. <laughs> you guys, you guys can can interject <laughs> if you have an idea of something you want to do. do, do. Make Stegwig grab the bow and fly with it. <laughs> no. no! <laughs> Is well, the thing if it's not going to fire, it's not going to fire, right? Uh, yeah. So. Plus, and Spit was still invisible, so he could. We can make him think like the boats. The bolt bogan's been taken by a ghost or something. Yeah. Is there? <laughs> I, I have. I do have a question. I do have a question. Technically, this would not be attack. Is there a? Are there's like? Is this place like set up like there's potted plants and stuff like little planters and like sure. around everywhere? <laughs> Just as he's getting ready to set his sight, and like he's taking aim, he's like he's setting up a shot. I want Spitwit to just to just to like you know do a cat fuck this, and then <laughs> make the make the make the potted plant smash. While I, Spitwit I, I, is still I, invisible. Yeah. Okay. It's not it's not technically an attack. I'm just looking to knock it over. Okay. And and Reggie's the one concentrating on the invisibility, so Spit can, Spitwit can do who knows what. Invisibility so I, I, still ends if you like just because not, someone else you is concentrating on it. Invisibility that. still ends if you it, effectively if you uh, if you make an attack, attack. Or, or do something uh, that oh. would affect another person. I forgot about if that. If you affect another person, I'm not looking to knock it onto him. I'm I'm fine with that. I'm just yeah. If if it worked that only the person concentrating on it had to interact with someone, invisibility would be massively broken. So yeah. it's not how it works. Good try. Um, yeah. However, I effectively see this as making a noise, which you could do in yeah. visibility without uh, thing. So, as he's setting it up, uh, I will have you uh, make a. Uh, I'll let you choose strength or, or dexterity. It's gonna be dex. Next. Does he have advantage on this? Or which I should have asked him before. Uh, no. Okay, uh, so it'll be uh, so that'll be an eleven. Eleven. Okay. So as he's sitting for a there, potted plant. in front of, and he swings wildly, uh, and and turns around and, and looks at it and kind of points the uh, b -b -b bow gun at the now broken b -b 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 potted uh, b -b 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 plant. And so Spitwood will just work through. Her. I'm hoping that's also something like his boss will come out like. What the? He's thinking he did something. Almost on cue. <laughs> what the bloody hell are you doing? I told you to shoot something over there, not something here. Hey, boss, I didn't shoot. Shut up! <laughs> and he goes over and you see him kind of sifting through. You scratched the marble. You scratched <gasps> the marble. Get, get in here. And he, he kind of takes it over there. Hey, boss, 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 boss. No, put it down. You watch as the... the, the um, uh, the bow gun slams onto the ground, ground uh, and uh, oh, the no. bolt itself fires off into the ether. Because oh. um, he slammed it. That's not a trigger. Yeah, yeah no. It, a trigger. It, it, yeah. Yeah. Actually, actually b -b -b uh, didn't break it, but he, he caused the, the latch to not hold on. So the boss yeah, goes, see, it and works. The, and, and the bolt flew. Good. See? Good. see, see it works. See? He's like, hey, boss, <laughs> boss, just let go of the... Let me go back in. Uh. Uh, can we go back now? <laughs> yep. Well, we I don't see why not. I mean, I mean, we can post up here, or we can come back yeah. wherever. So, yeah, you guys, you guys have use of this uh, until uh, the end of tomorrow, effectively. So, well after your uh, 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 okay. your assassination attempt. So, okay. you guys can you uh, uh, you guys can sleep here if you will, will want. Uh, one last question. Now that we have a feel for the place, over the place, last chance for us before we post up. Any changes to this plan? Well, it seems like what we have, and like where the guy was taking position, he could have been aiming at every and anything, right? 
or was he taking position uh, the second where he was time going to position he was tomorrow? just kind of uh he was in a couple different places looking around the first time though uh he was exactly where uh you mentioned he would be uh, standing. you thought b b before in that little corner with the uh ch tables and chairs okay so maybe there's a chance that's where they're gonna post up but there are four chairs there already maybe that i mean it would make sense that's where they're gonna put their crossbows right Right, because they're not going to put it on the balcony. Okay. So do you have any change in plans or ideas? Or anyone have any extra ideas? So I know right now me and and Smegwig got every, a plan, at least. The question is, do we want to be over there before? Or do we want to like hit them hard and fast like we all go in at once doing our thing? I'm presenting that's what we're all going to do. Because we don't want to Ooh. definitely want to break it up. We want to like hold our action, and then like on the count of three, we all go and our do our thing. Well, we have miss... long range. Me and Owie are doing long range. I I have misty step. Um, I intend to slather myself in slippery oil. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd say that. Um, <laughs> and ca cast at least one, maybe two, thunder waves on them towards the balcony, right? Because that'll yeah. give me an yeah. Well, and Owie, are you going to be attacking? Are you going to be? I'll uh, definitely yeah, attack and uh, maybe if uh, any, uh, is the uh, Bruce uh, plan still in effect or? It is. Grace, Grace, yes. Yeah. I also do intend to have uh, Spitwit. Uh, he's gonna be taking part of this too. Uh, he will have. He will. He, I know he can. I know he can carry at least two bags of caltrips. Okay. They are light. Yeah, I can definitely uh, do some uh, sharpshooting and maybe set things on fire so they don't escape. So I'm thinking maybe okay. two of us on the snipers, two of us on Bola and the Tufts. Well, I'm gonna be helping you with with the. Bolo and the Tufts with the grapples, if you can get them back. Well, my intent's the snipers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we always have the, this thing, and I pull out the Pokeball. Well, you gotta huck that. Mm. Uh, the bowler. Okay. So there's nothing else that we need to get, or anything anybody else needs, or any. Well, that's setup. what I'm asking. And yeah. Did, are we wanting to go? I mean, because again, that's going to be expensive, but we can also go with like a last call on the essence of ether. As far as I know, I'm pretty set. I'm okay. I'm good to go. Okay. Okay. We got the Tanglefoots. Yes, we got four of them. All right. So okay. you guys put a bed down for the night. Go ahead and take a long rest. Yay. And that is unfortunately where we're going to end it for Perfect tonight. timing. As always, if you enjoyed this, uh, if you missed any uh, of the episode or any of the pre previous episodes, I do put all of them on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Jody Trainer Jody. Otherwise, again, that is all for, for me today, and I'll see you guys in the next time. All right? Bye-bye.